Struggling with AI t-shirt designs? I show you how to use Ideogram and ChatGPT for perfect results. Okay, so the goal of this video will be that we will create t-shirt designs in the niche Lefse. Lefse is a type of Norwegian flatbread. In the last video we researched the niche itself and some phrases for it. And for the demo today I want to focus on these three phrases. Life's too short for thick Lefse, powered by coffee and Lefse, and Vikings ate Lefse, be like a Viking. I put all these phrases in the spreadsheet right here. Every phrase has its own design ID and this will be the name of the image file later. We got the niche and we got the phrases. So now we got the phrases and we want to create the designs in ideogram. First I will show you some generations with a very simple prompt. So here we are in ideogram and the first prompt is very simple. It says a Lefse t-shirt design that includes the phrase. And then you just put in your phrase. In our case it's life's too short for a thick Lefse and then gray background. Actually, let's type in dark gray background. Sometimes when you just write gray background, it chooses a light gray background and generates black letters. And we don't want that because we want to generate our designs optimized for black backgrounds. I would also not generate the designs on a black background because it will be harder to remove the background later. So let's see the settings on the right. So for this simple prompt, I would set a magic prompt to on. And that's because it's so simple, it will generate a new prompt that will be much more detailed. Next you can choose the aspect ratio. So for t-shirt designs click on this arrow right here and then choose the 4x5 portrait aspect ratio. When you generate t-shirt designs I would always put the visibility to private. For this demo I just leave it on public, leave the model on 2.0 and I would also leave the color palette on auto. There are some more settings on this arrow right here but we don't need it right now. But it's important to set the style to design. So let's click generate and see what we get. Ok 99 and it's complete. Just click an image right here. So here are our designs. It always generates 4 at a time. So we already got a typo right here. And what's also very important is the fact that you have to check the graphic elements. For this example you have to check if the AI knows what Lefse is. So I just like to go to Google Images and then you just type in the niche. And then you can already see what it's about. So Lefse looks like these pancakes. They are round and you can roll them up. You see these spots right here and you can also fold them up like this or cut them up into these triangles right here. Okay, I think we got the idea. So as you can see it's very important to check these facts because this graphic element is not a Lefse. So of course we can't use the design because of this typographic error but also because the design element is not a Lefse. So let's check the other ones. Okay that's very simple but I'm not convinced of this graphic. Let's see this. Well the design itself and the font looks really great but unfortunately this doesn't look like a Lefse. It looks more like a type of bread or something like that. Let's see the last one. Okay. Life's too short for a thick Lefse. Okay. This still doesn't really look like a Lefse. So let's just generate it again. And for doing that you can just click this button right here that says retry. And this window opens again. And then we click generate. Okay so here we go. This is not a Lefse. This also doesn't look like it. Yeah the design looks quite nice but unfortunately the graphic doesn't fit. This looks even better. But the graphic doesn't fit. These graphic elements look more like peanuts. So let's go to ChatGPT and try to create more detailed prompts. So the prompt is give me a nice and short prompt for an AI art generator. The niche is Lefse. It should generate a design that is suitable to put on a t-shirt. Always add dark grey background at the end of the prompt. Here is the phrase that the design should include. Life's too short for thick Lefse. So for this prompt you can just change out the phrase and the niche right here. So let's press enter and see what we get. Ok this is great because it says a thin perfectly rolled Lefse with the rolling pin. So let's copy this prompt. Then we go to ideogram. Then you can just click this button to clear the text. Paste it. Then you click design and generate. Ok we made a mistake that the magic prompt is still on. For this more detailed prompt I wouldn't use the magic prompt. So let's click this and set magic prompt to off and hit generate. Ok here we go. This one is missing thick. This one looks quite good. Life's too short for thick Lefse. Ok let's save this one. And the other ones are missing the Lefse. So let's pick this one. The font is big and easy to read. So that's what we want. Now let's generate the next design. So the next phrase says powered by coffee and Lefse. Let's copy it. Go to ChatGPT. So now I just use the follow up prompt that says now give me a prompt for this phrase powered by coffee and Lefse. 
Press enter and see what you get. Retro style design featuring a steaming coffee cup and a stack of thin lefse. That's quite specific, so that's good. With bold, playful typography that says poured by a coffee and lefse. Dark grey background. I'm a big fan of simple prompts, so that's just what we need. So let's copy it. Go to ideogram and paste it in. Magic prompt is off. And for some reason you always have to click design. The other settings are still set. So click generate. And ideogram is basically quite fast. As you can see right here. Okay, so here we go. The words are off right here in this first one. This one is also incorrect. This one is missing coffee. And the lefse doesn't look right. Powered coffee and and lefse. Mm, no. So let's generate it again. Generation complete. Let's take a look. It's got two ends right here. Nope, nope. The coffee is missing an E right here. Now we could roll this prompt again, but let's try a different prompt. So let's prompt. Give me two different prompts for this phrase in ChatGPT. Let's just copy them. Paste them right here. Design magic prompt off. Generate. Okay, these look way different. We got this floral design. Powered by coffee and lefse. Text is absolutely right. We got the coffee cup right here and we got... Well, how does it look like to you? Well, it looks quite interesting, I would say. But I wouldn't use it. So the E is off right here in the second one. The third one says powered by coffee and lefse. Yeah, this one is absolutely correct. And it looks quite nice. Let's see the last one. Powered by coffee and lefse. This one also looks quite nice. So now if you have to pick one, I would guess it's easier to remove the background from this design right here than from this design because it's more detailed in this floral design. So let's just save both of these versions in case we can't remove the background from one of these. So now we got the last phrase. Vikings ate lefse, be like a viking. So let's copy it, go to ChatGPT. And since the first prompt already worked for the second phrase, we don't need the second prompt right here. So now we just type in, now give me a prompt for this phrase. Vikings ate lefse, be like a viking. So let's copy it, go to ideogram, press this button, paste it right here. Click design, magic prompt is off and click generate. Okay, Vikings ate lefse, be like a viking. Well, the phrase doesn't have any errors, but I don't like the placements of the words. So let's check the second one. Vikings ate vikings, did they really? Okay, that's fascinating. Is that the reason why he looks in every direction? So the third one, Vikings ate lefse, be like a viking. That's quite nice. And the last one, Vikings ate lefse, be like a viking. Actually, I like this one the best. So let's save it. So now we have to remove the background from these designs. In Ideogram, you can click this button to remove the background. But when I tested it, it didn't really give me good results. But let's test it anyways. So just click this button. Yeah, as you can see, it's got these big letters correct. And also the graphic. But when you see these small letters, there are still parts of the background left. And here it removed the eye. So you can't use this result. So let's try this design. Just click this button. Okay, it's quite perfect, but there are still some parts of the words that have this background, like this and, or this O, or this B, or these parts right here. So I wouldn't use this background remover from ideogram, but I guess they are still working on it, so it can be improved in the future. So for designs that include a phrase and a graphic, I always like to use the background remover from pixelcut.ai. So you just click on this blue button, background remover, and then it's just drag and drop. You can drop it anywhere in this field, and it's loading, and it's already done. So you can already see that we got an amazing result. So what I like to do is to go to this color wheel right here, and choose the background to see if there are any spots left from the background. But this looks really nice and clean. And by the way, it's completely free to use. So to save this image, you have to click this checkerboard icon right here. Otherwise you would save the graphic with this background and click on this download button on the right corner. And there we go. You will get this ad, but you can just click on this gray area right here. So to remove the background from the next graphic, you just drag it right here and drop it. Then you click replace and let it load and here we go already looks quite nice let's see the background yeah it's basically perfect as you can see this background remover is amazing and that was even the graphic where i was not quite sure if it could remove the background properly but as you can see it did an amazing job so let's set it on this checkerboard and click download now let's pick the last design drop it right here Click replace, let it load for a second and here we go. Well, really, I'm just amazed by this background remover. 
On the mouse over you can see that this graphic itself is in this tall rectangle shape. So that's perfectly for our needs. Let's check the background. Yeah, it's basically perfect. So click the checkerboard right here and click download. So here are some more tips to make it easy to remove the background. Your graphics always have to have this hard outline. So it's easy for the background remover to recognize the background and to see what's part of the graphic and what's part of the background. And because of that, I always like to add dark gray background to the prompt so that the design itself can stand out from the background. So now I just have to upscale these designs and they are ready for upload. Now if you want to generate your own POD designs in Ideogram, then please click on the link below. 